Hey, welcome back to Bed Squid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. Today's video is actually a tutorial for students on how to upload their work if they were to do it on their copybook, how to upload this onto Google Classroom. So there you are watching a perfectly balanced and well put together Beard Squid video and then you get a ping in your inbox. You go ahead and you go to your classroom and you realise that you've got math homework to submit. Go ahead and go to your classwork stream and you see, oh I've got an assignment, further expansion for God's sake, but you being a very studious student are going to think, hey I need to get this done. Once you're done, what do you do? How do you transfer this onto the computer? Well, there's an easy way of doing it and all you need is your cell phone. Go to your web browser, you can just go straight to Google Classroom from your browser. And I go to my classroom, and then I go to classwork as usual, and then I go on to that assignment. So here, here we are, well, let's go view that assignment. And I can go down here and I can add or create. So let's go ahead and add and create. And I'm gonna upload, if you can see this here, I'm just gonna go to file. And then from file, I'm gonna go to upload. And then from upload, I'm gonna go to browse. Uh, and then from browse, I'm gonna press on camera. And I'm gonna basically just take a snap of my work, okay? I'm gonna take a snap of my work. Yeah, that's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and press OK, and it's gonna upload the work. I've uploaded it, and I'm gonna press on hand in, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and hand it in. Done. So here we go. Download this, okay? It's Microsoft Office Lens. Don't worry, there's 10 plus million downloads, okay? And it has 4.7 star reviews with over half a million reviews. And it's free, it's absolutely free. Let's go ahead and open this. And what you'll see is you start getting these geometric shapes. It's trying to recognize, okay, your document. So it's gonna scan your document. So once you're ready and you wanna scan your document, Press on the button, and it's gonna show you this, okay? And if you, as long as you have this toggled over here, let me adjust the borders of each scan, you can now go ahead and toggle where you want. So I don't want that at the bottom. I think that's good, okay? I can go ahead and press confirm. So I'm gonna go ahead and press confirm. Now I'm done with that. However, I can go and click on filters. Can you see that? I'm gonna go ahead and click on filters. Now the different filters will change how the image looks. It will try to make it look more like text. For example, look at black and white, okay? Or grayscale. And I'm gonna press done. Now that is saved, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. That's saved to my gallery, okay? I'm done with this, perfect. So let's go back to the classroom and I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna to go to add or create. I'm gonna go and create a new doc. I'm gonna go ahead and edit that doc. And from here, very simply, I'm gonna press add. I'm gonna add an image, okay? I'm gonna come here and add an image. I'll tell you why I'm doing it. So from photos, I'm gonna add the image, here we go. Let's add that image. Look at that, that is so super clear. You can see that, and I can carry on adding more images. I can even type in some text here, okay? So if I wanna write a comment here and say, sir. I'm gonna go on the top and I'm just gonna click on the check mark. All I need to do now is press on hand in, okay? And it says, yeah, I wanna hand that in and we are done, okay? That document is now sent to the teacher and they could go ahead and check it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did and you're interested in more EdTech videos, uh, then subscribe, turn on notifications, and as always, I see you in the next one.